Super excited to run this test. First off, we went to the dollar store, got us 10 rolls of aluminum foil. Go down in the comments and let us know if you think this body armor build will work. Using this body armor plate as a template, we'll just simply take the aluminum foil and wrap it around there until it's all gone. All right, we're about 10 minutes in wrapping this foil around this body armor plate. We slid the body armor out of the foil. We got it all wrapped. I don't have a hydraulic press, so we're just gonna use my truck. We've compressed this thing about four or five times now. Now I'll compress it a little bit more with some duct tape. We got the duct tape on. My neighbor's truck is a little bit heavier than mine, so I brought it over and let him run it over a few times too. We made it out to the field. We got the aluminum plate. This weighs, if I had to guess, about three pounds. Uh, as you can see, we wrapped it in duct tape. Again, we got the aluminum plate here. I'll tell you guys what these tiles are gonna be for here in a second. We'll start with the 22, then we'll move to the 380, and then last but not least, the ultimate test is the nine millimeter. We'll set this up in front of these two liters here and uh, just take some shots and see what happens. If by any chance the 22 or the 380 make it through, which the 380 might, then uh, hang around because we, we got these uh, ceramic tiles. So we'll just take one of these tiles to the front and see if that makes any difference uh, with the 380 and or the nine millimeter. So first we'll set up the 22, we'll go back about seven yards and uh, we'll see if uh, this tin foil can get the job done. We got Jake shooting the 22 LR. All right, Mr. Jake, let's see what happens. Okay, there's our epic fail. <laughs> uh, there's the entry and there is the exit from the 22. So like I said, we're gonna grab some of those ceramic tiles. We'll put one ceramic tile plate in front and we'll probably step it up to the 380. Uh, don't think the 22 is gonna make it through one of those ceramic tiles. Uh, we'll set up a couple more two liters and do it again. We got uh, our aluminum foil plate, fortified with ceramic tile. My son got the 380. We got a uh, 85 grainer hollow point in there. All right, so let's take this shot and uh, see what happens. All right, let's check it out. Well, you can see right off the bat, it destroyed this ceramic tile, but I don't think it went through and didn't. So the ceramic tile did exactly what I thought it would do. It broke that round up and then the rest of it just kind of got caught here on the front. So we'll put a brand new uh, ceramic tile plate on, maybe add some more duct tape and uh, We'll run it again with the nine millimeter and see what happens. Pretty impressed with just the ceramic tile and the uh, aluminum foil. All right, as you guys can see, we got this fortified. Uh, we just kept it with the one plate, the same plate that was already on there, just added some duct tape. So now we'll take a shot with this nine millimeter and uh, see what happens. We got a uh, 124 grain jacket at hollow point. Jake will be shooting out of his Glock. All right, Mr. Jake. See what happens. Uh. Fail is what happened. All right, let's check it out. So, I guess you hit it up here. I don't see I don't see an exit all right upon further inspection here is the front side of where Jake caught it caught it with that round and if you look it did not go through here's the back side obviously it pushed it hard enough you got a little back face deformation right here but uh, it did not go through. So this, this punch right here was just from the energy from that round. So yeah, if you had this on and obviously if you got caught with the round, it hurt like heck. Um, you just saw how much energy that was, but the round did not go through. So I'm curious now, 
I want to set it up again and take a couple of more shots and uh, see if we can get one that doesn't have enough energy to bust one of these two liters open. But uh, yeah, so just adding that ceramic tile in front and creating that hard surface and then having this behind it, it was, was enough or it is enough. Uh, you guys get a close look there. There's no hole, there's no puncture at all in that aluminum foil. So I uh, will do another tape job on this thing and uh, put another fresh set of cool two liters behind this and uh, take one more shot. All right, so Jake's gonna take another shot with the nine millimeter. After which we'll see what happens. I may grab my, my 40 cal, uh, which is also a Glock and uh, take a shot uh, through two of those ceramic tiles and see what happens. All right, Jake. All right, let's check it out and see what happens. You wanna grab that two liter, Jake? Yeah. All right, so let's see if that was the energy again from that round or if it actually punched a hole through this time. What do you think, Jake? I think it came through that time. You know what? I don't think so. Feel that and tell me what you think. I mean, it looks like it might have been some, some shrapnel. We got a little hole right here. Yeah, but I don't I don't think the round came through. No, just, just a, maybe the jacket. So again, it is hitting with a heck of a heck of a lot of energy. And that energy is actually what's uh, puncturing because again, it did not come through. Yeah, that's not a hole. No, it's There's not a, a hole. It's a little slice. Yep. Hole. So, uh, just for fun, for science, we got some more uh, ceramic tiles. So we're gonna put a fresh ceramic tile in front of this and grab my 40 and uh, see what happens. All right, last but not least, we grabbed another ceramic tile. So we got these tiles doubled up. We're gonna take the 40 cal, this is 180 grain jacket to hollow point, running through my Glock and uh, see what happens. Just out here to have some fun. All right, Mr. Jake. I think she stopped it. I think she did. All right, so you can see the carnage as we walk up here. But I'll let you dig through that, Jake. Let me know. Let me know if you feel anything and it will flip her over. I don't think she made it through. There she is. There she is. So there's our answer. 40 cal didn't make it through. Nice and clean on the back side. So all in all, we got the foil from the dollar store. We had 10 rows. I think it was 400 yards. Uh, took us about 30 minutes to put that together. Ran it over my truck a couple of times. Ran it over my neighbor's truck a few times. And uh, these ceramic tiles are like a dollar each. So again, I'm not uh, advocating you guys use this to save your life, self-defense. This is just for fun. Uh, in the world scenario, who knows what you gotta do, but it just very easily stopped this uh, 40 cal. Did nothing on the backside to our two liter. Uh, probably not gonna get a whole bunch of hits out of that. Now, if you had the whole thing completely covered with duct tape, uh, obviously you get a, uh, some more hits out of that, but I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at how the back side of the, the tin foil uh, did after you had this hit target on the front. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. We have more videos coming to you guys real soon. Junior, out.